Yeah, go on there, Taz. A bit more gas, more gas, more gas, more gas. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So, this is Taz's first lesson back after the lockdown. So, uh, Taz, uh, before the lockdown, uh, what did we do on that lesson? We were just doing for what, like mock tests, weren't we? Yeah, and on that mock test, you did quite well, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think we, we just won uh, one serious fault, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, okay. And uh, about a week after that mock test, your test was booked. Yeah, it was booked. And then what happened? It got cancelled. So you got cancelled because of the uh, coronavirus. And now we're expecting an email this week um, uh, to get your test booked again, yeah? yeah. Okay. So, um, obviously, since the lockdown, there's been no lessons. You haven't driven at all. No. Yeah. So, um, this lesson, basically, you think we should recap on everything and see how you go? Just general driving. Yeah, see how you do and get you back mm -hmm. into it, yeah? Okay. Um, you may have forgotten some stuff, yeah? Um and uh, guys, like most of you know, Taz has been using the Ultimate Driving Course to help her with the uh, driving. Uh, she watches the videos and he saved, well, he, he saved us time, um, basically uh, giving her the knowledge. She, she, she took all the knowledge from the videos so we could carry on with the practical part in her driving lessons. But Taz, um, since the lockdown, have you watched any of the videos? I watched them at the start of lockdown. Yeah. And then like... When we're having our lessons, I just like, I just stopped watching them. But okay. then when I found out I was doing my lessons again, I just recapped over some of them. Okay, so you haven't watched too much of them, no. yeah? But to be honest, before the lockdown, like I said, you'd, you'd gone through all of them anyway, yeah. yeah? Okay, so, and you could drive. So, but you, like today, if you find any weaknesses, you can go back to the videos mm -hmm. and then just recap. But um, hopefully we can um, get back into it. So the aim of today's lesson is just to get back to a level where you feel comfortable and confident driving again yeah. yeah okay so we'll start off with some just basic turns and that and if everything's going okay then we'll just move on to busy roads and roundabouts dual carriages like we were covering everything mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, when we uh, finished last time yeah so yeah um help wise how much help would you like from me i think i'm just gonna try and do everything by myself cool. let's just do it and then yeah. if i do mess up anywhere then you can just tell me your comment. That's fine. That. So you're going to take the responsibility like you were doing before? Yeah. And um, I'll just give you the directions. And uh, if there's any situation where you haven't reacted in time, then I will come in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? And if I use the pedals or go for the steering, I'll let you know why I had to do it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? Right, any questions before we start? No. Cool. So um, whenever you're ready, Taz, you could move off. So how you feel? Do you, you feel you've forgotten stuff or...? Um, I don't think I've forgotten, but I feel like I'm waiting to make a mistake. <laughs> okay, cool. driving <laughs> I think a lot of people did during lockdown they wanted to just continue with the lesson especially the ones that had their test booked yeah it's like so close as well and I know I was gutted a week after as well I thought it was the day after yeah I, I think it was know. yeah and if you could turn left please Start, yeah? <laughs> yeah. At the end of the road, as if you could turn left. Good acceleration there, yeah. Well done, excellent slide. 
flying down and a good gap from the person and the car there. The traffic lights continue straight ahead please. turning on the left just coming up now End of the road if you could turn left please does. Well then has really good observations. And if you could park anywhere safe on the left please. Go a bit more forward please, off the brake, keep going forward, that's fine just there it has. Okay, so what do you think I should go a bit more forward? Um, because I was blocking the driveway. Nope. Um, Have a look in your right mirror, what can you see there? Oh, another park car on the opposite side of me. Yeah, and is, how, how wide is the road? It's really narrow. Yeah, what would have happened if you had parked opposite that car? It'd be harder for vehicles coming. Yeah, do you think any vehicle would have got through? No. No. Nah. Okay, so we would have totally blocked the road there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah, when you pull up next time, you reckon you're going to need any help with that? You're going to be okay with that next time? I think I'll be okay. I'm okay. Just going to look around. Cool. How do you think you started off? Um, not too bad. I think I was okay. Yeah, for, I don't know, for some reason I was expecting to be a lot, a lot worse because we haven't been driving for what, three Same. months, yeah. But you've been brilliant on the gas because remember your uh, main issues before you started driving well on the last uh, um, couple of lessons on your like mock test and that you started doing well. But before that you kept, you're always a bit really too, slow. yeah, and you build up and, um, but that's been good. You've been using the gas well, mm -hmm. the observations at that junction, really good. Yeah, you, where you couldn't see, leaning your body forward, checking, double checking. Excellent. Um, ready for some dual carriageways, roundabouts? Um, yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, um, yeah, let's uh, uh, let's move on to them. We'll, we'll just keep you at this kind of level where I'm not really helping you much at all, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, unless any kind of situation arises. That's fine. Okay, then, Taz, uh, move off, please. And then at the end of the road, if you could turn right for me. Okay. Pop your 
signal back on again. He did put it on, but he cancelled, yeah. What could be over this hill, Taz? Ahead. Traffic lights. Past that. The vans. And it's a bit narrow. Yeah. Vans or lorries? Lorries. Yeah. Is this lorry? Could somebody be inside this lorry? Yeah. The door could swing over. That's it. Well done. The traffic lights continue straight on, please. Mm -hmm. Good mirrors. Do you find the masks? Wearing the mask? I don't think it's that bad. I thought it's a lot less worse than I thought it would be. I thought yeah. my glasses would be steaming up and everything. It's okay, I find it okay for a bit, but then, you know, if you have to wait for more than like a, a couple hours, hours yeah. then it. It's like at work, we have to wear it the whole shift. It's horrible. You get the one with the ventilator things on, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I might need one of them. I think we've got to get used to it though. Oh, no, 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 yeah. I think it's going to be for a good few months, we have to yeah. keep ready to go. Well then, that's a good gap from the lorry. See, we didn't get too close to it there, you didn't get too close, because the lorry could have stopped and tried to reverse yeah. back as well, yeah. Well then. Roundabout, if you could, sorry, yeah, at the roundabout, if you could turn right, second exit, please. Carry on, Tess. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So what were you about to do there? Stop. Yeah, you're about to stop, yeah. To. Yeah. You know that black car that was on the right hand side? It was blocking the traffic, was it? Uh, not blocking the traffic, yeah. After the traffic, he, he oh. was going to enter the roundabout. Which way was he going though, do you know? He was going right. Yeah, he had his signal on, didn't he? Right, yeah. yeah. He's going to Arrow, he was turning left to our right. Mm -hmm. So I didn't need to stop. No. Nah. And there was a vehicle behind us as well, yeah? Yeah. Would he be expecting you to stop? No. Worst case scenario, if you like, it wasn't a sudden stop, but you're just holding up, holding yeah. up traffic, yeah. And then, if you, if the car behind you wasn't expecting you to stop, they could hit the back of you as well, yeah. The driver behind doesn't look too happy anyway, does he? <laughs> I just looked at his face. <laughs> I think he's not happy that there's road works here. <laughs> But how can that make you feel, you know, a driver behind you? That's not very happy or moaning. Yeah. It's not my problem. <laughs> that's good. That's a good way to look at it. It's not my fault. Yeah. Some ladies, like, it makes them feel, like, under Nervous. pressure that. But that's that's good. That's, I like first, that attitude. you know, when you used to see them getting, like, annoyed, yeah. at first I'd be like, but now it's, it's not my problem. <laughs> well done. Excellent mirror check there. So it's going to overtake me or something. That's it. Good. I was just about to ask you, why is that mirror important? That's the, that's the whole point of noticing it early. We just like you're ready for it just in case you do have to react, yeah. yeah. Well 
then at the end of the road if you could turn left please Observations are good, but then you didn't like roll back or anything, it was slightly uphill, yeah. Thanks. Because that used to be one of your favourite mistakes, yeah. Rolling back. <laughs> Rolling back. High to hills. But even if you do stall, it's about your reaction, yeah. Because so you continue sure. straight on, yeah. Good how you initially slowed down for your share, but then as soon as you saw the van driver stop here yeah, and use the overtaking position, just uh, overtake a little bit quicker. Then. there in the middle what's that driver doing me that's it good at the mini roundabout if you could turn left face taxi please At the roundabout, if you could turn right, third exit, please. Which way is the lorry going? This one. Yeah. It's going that way. Yeah. What did you what did the lorry do wrong there though? It didn't indicate. I see. So we could have assumed he's coming this way, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he safe now? All then. Which signal test? Is he safe? Better at that roundabout? Observation. 
you were observing, yeah. Okay, what, when were you supposed to signal left? As soon as we got to the exit four. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so our signal was a bit late, and then because of that, our whole process of moving over was a little bit late as well, yeah. Because you were looking, it was clear, yeah, but you weren't moving over. Yeah. If you could take this exit here, please. So this roundout coming up, we're turning right third exit. Would you like any help on this one? You think you could do it? I'll try and do it. Okay. So remember the timing of everything then, yeah? safe on the left please Okay, how do you think he's gone so far? Um, I don't think it's been bad but I just think maybe obviously that first round about be a bit more aware of what I'm doing. Yeah, then how did you do this round of it? Better. Yeah, this was fine. So you had the yeah, you had everything at the correct time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the signal, the moving over, yeah. So um, yeah, even if you like do do something slightly wrong, as long as like when actually you knew straight away what you did, yeah. Yeah. That's the main thing I'm looking for. Have you still got that knowledge there? Have you forgotten mm -hmm. stuff? Yeah. Okay. Um, but then you hadn't. You told me what you did wrong. The next round of it, I didn't help you. You tried it and you did it yourself, yeah? Mm -hmm. Which shows you're at a good level. Okay, um, let's uh, make it a bit more challenging, yeah? Let's do some more bigger roundabouts and uh, probably make you follow some signs and signs of that as well, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, so whenever you're ready, Taz, you could uh, move off. If I don't say anything, yeah, always think straight ahead, yeah? Same happens on your test. The examiner does explain at the start that if they don't say anything, just continue straight ahead, yeah? So what's the risk ahead? Space for you? Yeah. I'm just start. Good. Um, what can you see ahead? This one and she might cross to the road. Good. That was a good speed for how close we had to get to the cars there, because we had to drive a bit closer to the cars, yeah? Kind of speed. It was good. So like you said, from behind the ambulance, you could the paramedics walk out? Yeah, I can't really see behind them. Yes, yeah.
traffic lights if you could turn right please. Where should you position that? That's it. So you kept your normal driving position there didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And why is that not good to keep your normal driving position there? Why shouldn't you position to the right? Because one, I could stop the people from behind me going the way they need to. That's it. Or like they might think I'm going a different way. Yeah, even if you got your signal, it could be confusing yeah, if you don't get the correct position for your turn. But like you said, you could hold up traffic that wants to turn left. Yeah, like a motorway could could have then got through the gap. Yeah. So positioning wise, you know how to get your position. Yeah. You need any help with help with that? Yeah, if it keeps happening, then I'll come in. That's going to be with like a lot of your fault. If you do make a fault, but you realise what you did, yeah. if you saw trail, it's fine. But if it keeps happening, then I'll come in and we'll find a solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll turn again, a good speed because we have to be close to the cars. Cause it's quite narrow. Why is it important to check uh, the mirrors as you speed up? To see if anyone's going to overtake you. That's it. And if someone is overtaking, is it safe to speed up? No. Go on, it has a bit more gas. Okay, and now if you could follow signs to Warsaw for me, please. Mm -hmm. Which may really seems good here. This one. No, that's it. What can get through that gap there? As you move, yeah. That's it, always think motorbikes. So, following signs to Warsaw now, you don't know which way Warsaw is? It's left. Yep. Roundabout, mm. yeah. When we uh, entered, I told you that we can go now, yeah? yeah. Okay, 
How can you judge if it was safe to go or not? How, how could we tell it was okay to go there? Because there were like so many cars next to me that were going. That as well. You don't just want to rely on on, uh, on them. You want to have your own judgment, don't you? Okay, what could happen to these light stars? It could change. Yeah. Especially, Especially with this start. crossing, yeah, and people standing there. So what should you have done with your speed there? Hold it down. Yeah, just ease off the gas a little bit, yeah, just in case. Be prepared for the lights to change. Especially when there's pedestrians around, yeah. And there's a kid there on the right as well, yeah. Yeah, it's not that roundabout, yeah. How can we tell you was safe to go? Um, because the cars all had their um, indicators on and they weren't going the, like, the way that I was going. Yeah, that's it. So you know those cars that help us, like, that block that traffic that's coming towards us? There were, like, two cars that were going straight on there yeah. and you could tell from their position and their signals, like you said, yeah? Mm -hmm. But you kind of, like, every time you saw that, you, you put your foot on the gas but then you just decided just not to go just yeah. in case, yeah? So you could have been a bit more positive there and just uh, entered. But obviously you only want to go if you're totally sure about it, yeah. Okay, car's rolling forward a bit. What do you think that is? That's it. Handbrake wasn't fully up, yeah. So we'll see how that judgment goes again, yeah, with those cars. But if you're struggling with it, they'll, they'll come in and help you, yeah. This round, round back control by traffic lights. So when the lights turn green, I just go. Don't have to look. What are you doing, Chris? That's it, good. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. <laughs> Emergency. That's it. Visual. Oh, don't have to look. <laughs> <laughs> really because of that, the van thinking. but we were in fourth gear there as well yeah so lucky for you there was someone coming so we had to stop otherwise because we weren't prepared there yeah we would have just stopped to, to yeah unnecessary so we asked us to stick to the right hand lane yeah, yeah. to go straight ahead what do you think that was probably because of the next round where you're going to be right next round but there's no roundabout here but look which way is oh. also that's it. What's that lane for? I don't know. Yeah, he said Will Hall or Wolverhampton, he said on there, yeah. So it just keeps you in the same. That's it. It just prepares you in advance if you look at the signs. You could have you could, you could have used the left lane, but then you would have to move back over. That's all. We did do this in uh, one of our previous lessons before as well, looking at for signs early on. But like I said, it's been months.
When they approach that roundabout, yeah. Did we have the correct gear? No, it was a bit too fast as well. Yeah. So even if it was clear, you were like too sure, we wouldn't have entered anyway, yeah. And then we would have held up the traffic behind. So that's so it's important to always be prepared before you approach a roundabout, yeah. yeah. Especially these big ones like that. Good positioning that is. Excellent. At this roundabout, if you could turn right, second exit, please.
roundabout if you could turn left to first exit. I think you know when there's more more cars I think you need to practice that a bit yeah. more yeah okay so we don't hesitate okay now if you could uh, follow signs to Dudley for me please choice has been easier than expected hope I haven't spoke too soon but <laughs> I know I feel like because I'm gonna do roundabouts I haven't done yet I don't do that often I'm probably gonna start I'll be fine just remember Try and assess what the cars are doing and approach how you've been approaching apart from that one roundabout, yeah? Hold back, hold back. See, this kind of gap is okay when the car in front is stationary, yeah? Mm -hmm. So carry on now. But when you're moving, even slow, yeah? We don't keep that normal tyres and tarmac gap, yeah? You keep a better car length. And why is that? In case they quickly start or That's if they roll back or whatever. So reapply that signal again. Has. So we did the same again there, yeah. You know the first car we saw, he was clearly signalling to go that way, wasn't it, yeah? Mm. It's like, you notice it, then you're like, I you get your feet ready, then you're like, oh nah, just in case. Yeah, we get I don't get scared, I just get like, oh. That, that, that's actually a good. That's, that's that's actually a good thought to have always. What if? What if? Yeah. But at the same time, you don't want to be don't too hesitant. Too yeah. Okay. I'd rather you be like this than just entering roundabouts without thinking about that. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's nothing dangerous that you're doing. Yeah. But we do need to like improve on it. Yeah. So when you see that gap, just because you're a lot better on the gas now. Before you used to be quite slow moving off, and that used to lead us yeah. to like not taking the gap. Okay. Follow signs to Dudley now, please. You didn't just go and fully stop. You saw after that one car there was a gap and you timed that braking perfectly there. Please. 
left. So you guess, you know. Knock. Oh. Dudley. You, you missed a sign back oh. there. There's another sign there, yeah. Okay. Remember the gap from the vehicle in front as well this time. That's it. Okay, Dudley straight ahead. Third exit. Can we use this lane for straight ahead? Yeah. How did you know? Because it had a left and a straight arrow. Well done. So say you're driving somewhere and you're supposed to be looking out for something but you miss a sign and you're not sure which way you, you've got to go now. Mm -hmm. What would you do? I'd just go find somewhere where it's safe to pull up and put it on that nav or something. Yeah, but say, say you can't pull up here, what would you do in this situation? Say you did not. Carry on going straight. That's it, yeah, just go the way this lane takes you, yeah, okay. Don't do anything that's dangerous, don't like just slow down and start thinking where you got to go or just suddenly change lane, mm -hmm. okay. Going the wrong way is no problem. Like even when you test, going the wrong way isn't it's a driving fault. Yeah, yeah, to make sure you just keep, keep everything safe. See, we were prepared for that, yeah, we were ready for that. Well, didn't you remember how the wife was still with? <laughs> The wiper lever down for now. We don't. That's it. Then switch him back on when he starts again, yeah. of that van that's going to block the other van and you entered. Mm -hmm. I feel like the more and more I do the, yeah. I'll get a bit more confident. Especially so the these roundabouts here are, go are good for that kind of stuff here, yeah. yeah. so we're going to come back to these again. Yeah. So I want you to turn right third exit please. Because they're multi-lane roundabouts yeah, and they're busy, that's going to be good to practice that yeah. judgement on there. I feel like as much as I hide them. So anything, you know, anything you don't like doing, you should do more of it. The more and more you do. That's it. It's the only way to get better at it, yeah. You can watch all the videos, do what you want, but you've got to practice it more and more. Third exit, please. This is the first. Good. Do you 
a lot of people ask me, oh, how can you get better at it? Yeah, it's like with the ultimate driving course, you can get the knowledge, but it's all about doing it practically. Yeah. yeah. Turn right, third exit, please. But if you could turn right third exit, which is a U turn. roundabout if you could go straight ahead please second exit so try and work out where all the cars are going yeah If you do miss any gap, I'll let you know, yeah? Okay? I'll leave it to you to judge. Well done. You took the first gap that we got. Excellent. That car could have easily come too far forward. Yeah, that was really good awareness there. That's fine, that wasn't your fault, there's a drain there, yeah. At this roundabout, we'll be turning left, first exit. How do you feel about the roundabouts? I After doing these last three or four? It's making me feel a bit better with them. Good. Obviously, they're not my best thing, but I like the fact that we're doing them more. Good. The car that we saw there on the roundabout, yeah. Close. Say it again. Is it a bit close? Yeah, that it was. It was just about okay to take. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. If you had, if that car vehicle had accelerated a bit more, then yeah, yeah, that that wouldn't have been a suitable gap. Yeah. So that was just about okay. Mm -hmm. But remember, he'd already joined the roundabout and he was coming towards us. Yeah. Yeah. So ideally, it would have been better to just wait. Oh yeah, wait for that one. If you had it into the roundabout, that's fine. Yeah, do fine. Yeah. But see, in this situation, it, it was okay because we didn't cause him to slow down. Yeah, he was driving quite slow for some reason. Anyway. Like I said, it's about getting it right. We don't want to just start entering roundabouts yeah, when it's not safe. But yeah, the last few you've done, they've been good. doing a few hills <laughs> yeah that's fine it's another thing you don't like to do you still hate it exactly so 
Anything you hate, what do we do? We're gonna do it. Exactly, we do more of it. Turn left, please. Say it again. I have to mentally prepare myself. Just remember, oh, what's the main thing we practiced about hills? Clutch. Yeah, the, it's a clutch control and using the acceleration, yeah. And when you're uh, when you're merging at a T-junction, it's how you approach it, yeah? Which gear do we get? One. One, and then we use that clutch control, don't we, yeah? The thing is, even if you do stall, keep good control of the vehicle, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Don't set it wrong. to the right of it. Okay, and carry on. What do you think happened there? Uh, it moved off and I didn't notice. Yeah, and we were quite close to the... Park car. Yeah, the park car. So, we noticed that before about being lowered. Obviously, they're, they're, they're at work as well and they want to get everything done quickly. So, whenever they see the opportunity, they will just go move. And with the guys who are collecting the bin, bins as well, yeah, just watch out for them. So that's the first time there we've got too close to a, to a parked vehicle. Again, I don't think there's anything you need a lot of help with, unless it happens again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. Continue straight on, yeah.
not bad, but... What could you have done a bit better? Come off the clutch mover. Your clutch was good. Use a bit more gas earlier. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Just before you're about to move off, yeah? And as you're getting gear one, you started bringing the clutch up like an approach, but you, you yeah. sorted that out, yeah? Okay, so a bit more gas. Right, this one's a lot steeper. It's one of your favourite ones, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so at the end of the road, we'll be turning right. of the gas there. How do you feel doing it? Confident or? I feel okay? better than when I first used to do them but. Turn left. I think I've just got it in my mind that I just hate hills and I just make myself think that I'm gonna mess up. Okay. So we still need to do a bit more practice on those yeah. Mm -hmm. So where would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being perfect on them and so one being really bad. I'd say like five or six. Okay, so I'm amazing at them. See, looking at it, I'd, I'd say eight or nine. Yeah, because oh. you, you did it well. But it's about how you feel. You still feel the five or six. Like you said, I think a that's reason. just because like it could go either way. Yeah. Like sometimes I do it good. Yeah. See, by scaling you, we can tell how confident you. So you're not that. You're doing it, but you're not that confident on you. Yeah. 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 So we need to build that up. Yeah. We can set that as an aim for maybe next listen. Continue straight on there, please. Park up on the left, please, Taz. All done. Okay, and switch off the engine for me, please. Yeah. Right then, so... First lesson back after what, how, it's been over three months, hasn't it? Uh, over three months. Yeah, well, over three months. Um, how do you think you did? I think I did good for my first lesson back. Like, I don't think I did anything seriously bad. Yeah. I hope. Yeah, it was like, I think we we're almost at the level where we left off, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everything was good. Mirrors were brilliant. Roundabouts. Obviously, we had a bit of hesitation, which got a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... I'd say the two key things we picked up from today's today's lesson that you need to improve are probably still well. When I say improve, is to gain more confidence on yeah. because you're doing it now. Yeah, but like with the with the hills, you rated yourself about five or six. Yeah, where you're doing it okay. So we need to just do more to get you more confident on yeah. it. Yeah, I think that's the thing. It's become more confident with yeah. stuff. Yeah, and um, uh, the other one, entry roundabouts when they're busy, just mm -hmm. judging. Yeah, again, yeah. you can do it, but. Again, we need to be a bit more common. Those are the two main things. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else. Well, obviously, we had that situation with the Bill Lorry where mm -hmm. we got a bit a bit too close. Yeah. But you've always got to be like you normally you're well, throughout the lesson. You showed some really good signs of where you were anticipating stuff really well, like with the lor lorry pulling out, holding back, and all that. Yeah. It was. It was. I was really happy with the lesson. Yes, I was expecting you to have uh, dropped a little bit yeah okay see a, a lot of people like i get a lot of messages oh i think i'm gonna forget everything and because uh, it's been such a long time but it just shows yeah you don't really forget once you learn to skill you don't really really forget, forget it, it. Yeah. yeah i think by the end of next lesson you'll be um a lot more a lot more confident yeah, yeah. so next lesson um should we do a few more holds you think yeah yeah anything else you think we should cover um, I think like you know how today we did a few roundabouts. Yeah. I think just doing that like I know how to do it, but it's just making myself more confident doing it. Cool. So I think yeah, hills and roundabouts. Okay, hills and roundabouts, and uh, manoeuvres. How do you yeah. feel about the manoeuvres? I think I do need to recap them. Yeah, we'll recap the manoeuvres as well if we can. Yeah. So we'll do some hills and uh, we'll do some hills and roundabouts and fit in try and fit in two manoeuvres. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's possible in the hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what are you going to do to uh, recap on the manoeuvres at home? 
um, watch the videos on the ultimate driving course. That's it. Just uh, obviously watching the videos, but if you do want to remember them, just remember your reference points. Yeah. Yeah. Please remember your reference and go through them. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the technique we use. Okay. How much steering you put on for for each maneuver? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So we'll we'll do that next lesson. But overall, I'm really happy with the lesson test. Yeah. So um, yeah, test wise, we're just waiting for an email now. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're not sure. Um, it should be coming this week, but we're not sure what kind of date we're going to get. The tests yeah. are starting again on the 22nd of July for non Kiwi. Kiwi are still getting the test. Mm -hmm. You guys who had the test book before lockdown from 22nd of July, they're starting. Yeah. So um, hopefully by the end of end of this month, I'm you thinking we we yeah. Well, um, we 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 can easily be ready for the test. Yeah. Even if we did, you say even if you've got a date for a week's time fit in two lessons and and go for it yeah yeah okay so yeah guys um, like always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video